Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This reading is for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, Sagittarius Rising. Also, if you have Venus or Mars in Sagittarius in your natal chart, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. Okay, guys, quick announcements. <laughs> my website is, my new website is almost ready. You can go to the website, you can look around if you want, but I would suggest not getting a, a membership just yet because we are still under uh, testing right now, but that should be done here within the next four to five days. So just kind of want to let you know what's going on. You can still go to this website. You can um, book a reading there. You can, um, you know, get any information there. There's blogs there now as well. So please feel free to go to my website, psychicsoundsbyb.com, and you can see what is going on there. Also guys, I am gonna be doing these readings just a little bit differently. Basically, they're gonna be a bit shorter, okay? So I just kinda of wanna make you guys aware of that because it's, getting, it's taking longer and longer to upload. Also, my extended readings are going to be on Vimeo if you would like to purchase those separately. So I will make sure that I put the, the link for Vimeo below. All right, guys, what do we got going on? Well, Sagittarius, for you, the sun is in your 12th house. The 12th house is ruled by Pisces. There could be a significant focus on a Piscean person or characteristics of the 12th house, which are psychic abilities, unconscious, subconscious, healing, hospitals, research, sleep time, romance, clandestine affairs. There is something coming to illumination in this particular area of your life, it may have something to do with a Piscean person in your life. All right, so please just be aware of that particular type of energy. But for you, this is in um, Scorpio. So your 12th house is in Scorpio. So there could be a Scorpio person or a Piscean person that has great significance for you um, in the next month of November and um, there's something being illuminated about this person. There's something being illuminated about these aspects. So please put your best foot forward in these particular areas of your life because not only is other people's focus gonna be on this area, your focus is gonna be on this area because this is where the sun is at. So please make sure you put your best foot forward. Mercury is in your first house. Happy day, okay? Now remember, when I do these November readings, I am going to place the planets in the houses that they will be uh, in for the majority of the month. There might be some planets transitioning from the, you know, your, your uh, 12th house into your first house or your first house into your second house, but I am going to approach this reading uh, for the majority of the month, so I'm only gonna focus on one house. But for you, your first house. There's gonna be communication about you. There's going to be contracts, negotiations, potentially a lot of movement as it relates to your identity. So please be aware of that. Venus is in your 12th house. Venus is the planet of love, abundance, harmony, kindness. She is a benefactor, but she's a lesser benefactor than Jupiter. The thing about it is, is that she can bring small financial gain and she can bring a lot of love into your life. For some of you Sagittarius out there, I am sensing you are uh, possibly in a secret love affair with someone. Um, I am not saying that you're cheating and I'm not saying that they're cheating. I'm just saying right now it's on the DL. So please be aware of that. Uh, this could have something to do with a Piscean person in your life or a Scorpio person in your life, but there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of harmony here. This could be working with these people as well. And it could have something to do with research hospitals, healing, unconscious, subconscious, dream state. Okay. So just kind of be aware of that particular type of energy, clandestine affairs. All right. Mars is in the 11th house and the 11th house, um, is ruled by Aquarius. So with the 11th house ruled by Aquarius and for you, uh, this is currently, uh, in Libra, this could be an Aquarian person or a Libran person that is of great significance to you related to passion and or aggression. Please move it more towards the passionate side as opposed to the aggressive side. But in your 11th house, this is all about hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations. 
Neptune on the 23rd is going direct. When Neptune was re retrograde, we had an opportunity to take the rose colored glasses off to see things for what they really were. All right, so sometime between about November 10th up to about December 10th, there is, because Neptune's pretty darn big planet, and when it stations to go direct, there is gonna be a lot of truth that is revealed. A lot of things are gonna be like blowing people out of the water. So for you, the rose colored glasses are coming back on on the 23rd in your fourth house of home, family, who you are at a core level, your ancestry. So please be aware of that. There could be discussions, um, potentially because Neptune is right now in Pisces, okay, there could be discussions regarding a Piscean person that is moving, or they are getting a home, or they are purchasing a home, or you're purchasing a home. Please make sure that you are being realistic in any, in any of these areas of your life. The full moon is on the 4th of November, and for you, this is in your sixth house. The sixth house is ruled by Virgo. All right, so with the sixth house being ruled by Virgo and this happening in the sign of Taurus, there could be a Virgoan person or there could be a Taurian person that is of great significance to you as it relates to your daily duties, as it relates to your, um, your health, your well-being. So please be aware of that. Something is culminating, climaxing, or coming to an end. On the 18th, we do have the new moon in uh, Scorpio. So for you, this is in your 12th house. Set your intentions for what it is you want, not for what you don't want, as it relates to Piscean people, Scorpio people, hospitals, research, unconscious, subconscious, psychic abilities, clandestine affairs, romance. All right, so please be aware of that particular type of energy. Okay, guys, let's get started on your tarot reading. So I am going to do this just a little bit differently. As you can see, I am doing my, whoa, these are all popping out. Hold on, I'm going to move those. Sorry, guys. <laughs> as you can see, I am shuffling, but instead of um, me pulling the cards like I normally do as they jump out, I am going to be uh, actually cutting the deck. All right, so I just kind of want to let you know that I'm going to focus on your sign and then I will cut the deck and then I will pull in sequence from the deck. What are the energies for Sagittarius? The Sagittarius people for November of 2017. What are the energies for Sagittarius? November 2017. Energies for Sagittarius, November 2017. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the deck. Okay. Here is your general energy. Here is work and finance. Here is emotional life and love life. Here is your health and your well-being. So what uh, energies do we have going on as a point of focus for you here in November of 2017? What is the focus for Sagittarians? What do they need to focus on in order to Utilize this energy in the best way. Make the positives really positive and make the negatives a little bit easier to handle. Sages. There we go, Sag. All right, Sages. Let's take a look and see what's going on for your general energy for November of 2017. Sages, you do have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is all about travel. So for some of you Sages out there, you could be traveling in the month of November. This does mean also uh, Cupid's arrows of love. So there could be um, someone in your life that you're very interested in and um, you might be telling them how much you love them, how much you miss them, how much you want to be with them. They might be telling that to you as well. This is quick activity. This is a lot of emails, a lot of movement, a lot of, I just heard um, something just hit the fan. I, I The S-H-I hit the fan, okay? So something just hit the fan and there's a regrouping that needs to be done. Um, something needs to be look, looked at just a little bit deeper. So kind of be aware of that particular type of energy. You could be going, you could be traveling for vacation. You could be traveling for work. Someone else could be traveling uh, on vacation or traveling for work. Uh, you might be considering getting the heck out of Dodge. 
you're like, I'm out of here. I don't want to be part of this company anymore. Or somebody could be saying that to you. So please be aware of that particular type of energy, but this is fast movement. Okay. So just be aware of that. This is also things being kind of left up in the air. So for some of you Sages out there, there could be something going on where somebody has left you up in the air regarding something. It could be an email. It could be a question you asked. Um, you might be leaving somebody up in the air too, because you need more information or they need more information. So please be aware of that. Something in particular could be coming to your awareness on the 8th of November. Somebody might be coming to you or you might be going to someone else. So what do we have going on as it relates to your work life and financial life? For your work life and financial life, Sag, as you do have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person. Could be a male, could be a female. These are just general energies. You know, and sometimes, guys, it doesn't even mean that they're actually, their sun sign is water sign. It could mean that they have fire sign sun, but they, they come off very watery, very intuitive, very psychic. There could be somebody in your midst that is helping you out with work as it relates to uh, getting a trend figured out, um, getting the pulse of what's going on outside of your company so that you can um, present your marketing in a very advantageous way. This person might even be telling you to, hey, Sages, you need to slow down. You're moving way too fast. This is gonna crumble before you if you keep moving this fast. To the alternative, Sages, they might be telling you to hurry the heck up, okay? This could be what's going on. I just heard for some of you, um, you are traveling and some like your um, your flight got changed and you got to get to the airport quick. Okay, that could be for some of you or maybe somebody you know has to get to the airport quick. But there's like this general quick, psychic, uh, intuitive movement around you as it relates to work. You might find out that somebody at work is actually psychic or is very intuitive and everything that they have said that would happen has happened. So you might want to listen to this person, Sagittarius, because they really know what they're talking about because they're able to tap in to the psychic abilities, to the collective conscious. This could also be you tapping into your own intuitive abilities and your own psychic abilities related to the collective conscious to determine which direction you need to go. Um, I just heard, um, I think it was on like, uh, it was on a cartoon. I want to say it was Bugs Bunny. I, I can't remember, but um, it's like, which way did they go, George? Which way did they go? Which way did they go, George? Which way did they go? Um, something's going on here where it's almost like you could just be like walking along and something happens to your right or to your left and you, you go like this and it's almost like everything is one way one minute. And then the next minute it's completely changed. It's like you walked onto another planet. All right. If that happens to you, you might be going through a one of the massive shifts that's happening right now. So please be aware of that, but use your intuition with your work, your finances, use your intuition with anything regarding finances. If you feel that something's off and maybe you need to check your bank balance, or maybe you need to check your credit card statement, please do so. Whatever you feel intuitive about, this is what you need to do. But overall, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio person or someone with those traits is helping you out with work. They could be a headhunter. They might be helping you out with work as it relates to projects. Um, this could be a friend at school that's helping you out with your school projects. This could be somebody at home who is, okay, I just heard like somebody's telling you where to put stuff or you're telling somebody where to put stuff. It's almost like, oh, I want that couch over there. Oh no, it looks so much better over there. Or, oh, it's over there. It's something like that. This could actually be an interior designer where they just pick up what you want and they present you with like a couple of options and you're looking at it, Sag, and you're going, oh my gosh, that is exactly the one that I want that, that matches me perfectly. So that could be what's going on, or you could be matched perfectly with a job. So what do we have going on as it relates to your emotional life and your love life? For your emotional life and love life, uh, Sag, as you do have the hermit. As it relates to the hermit, this could be something going on for some of you, Sag, maybe you are a, a physician, maybe you're a provider, maybe you're a medical provider, because this is the physician card. This is also Virgo. 
So a Virgo might have great significance to you for some reason or another. This is also looking into something much deeper. So Sag, is there something going on where you need to look into a situation deeper? Somebody might not be, um, somebody might not be honest with you. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but there could be something that you feel you need to look a little bit further into. So Sag, is if you're dating somebody or if there's somebody you're interested in and something seems off, you might want to do a little bit of research on that person. Now, I don't mean you want to stalk them, but just you might want to do a little bit of research. You might want to shed light on something. They might be shedding light on something for you. This could be something where your spouse comes to you and, and says, honey, look at the credit card bill and you look at it and you've got a son in college and you're seeing all these charges on this credit card and you're calling up your son saying, all right, buddy, we need to talk. Something's going on here. So just kind of be aware that that could be going on. Something is getting um, revealed regarding your emotional life and love life. You're looking deeper into something. Somebody could be looking deeper into you as well. A Virgo might be playing a significant role in your life as it relates to your emotional life and love life. This could be the person you're married to, the person you're dating, the person you're interested in. All right, basically what this is telling uh, me is that if you are dating somebody new or if there's something going on and you feel like it's kind of fishy or you feel like, I don't know if I've got all the information, try to slow down a little bit, Sag, because there might be something about this person that you don't know and your intuition is telling you, wait a minute, this Virgo might be moving just a little bit too fast and um, or this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is moving a little bit too fast. There's something up with this. So please be aware of that particular type of energy. Uh, this could also be for some of you Sages. Like I said, either you work in the medical field or you might be dating somebody in the medical field. So what is your health and your well-being? Here we go. The devil. <laughs> so uh, Sages, you're addicted to something. Um, you might be a hypochondriac. Uh, for some of you out there, you could be addicted to uh, um, drugs as well, uh, addicted to alcohol. You could uh, be addicted to smoking as well. Uh, for some of you, the way that I'm seeing this here, I think some of you Sages are picking up that this Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is trying to trap you. And because they're trying to trap you, you're realizing this because things are moving like really, really fast and everything's just like, gosh, this is just perfect. What's going on here? And it's like, you then realize they're trying to trap you or to the alternative, they could be realizing you're trying to trap them. This could be something, uh, Sages, where somebody at work wants to keep you right where you are. They have no intention of promoting you, nor do they have any, any intention of moving you to another location. Because you are so good at what you do, they want to keep you exactly where you are and get the most out of you that they possibly can because it appears, Sag, is that you're the one doing the majority of the work, okay? For others of you out there, this could be somebody in your life that you are trying to keep trapped, that you're not promoting, that you want them to stay right where they're at because you're getting more bang out of your buck by keeping them where they're at. And if you promoted them, then you would lose that control. For some of you, you just really need to get in control of something um, there, this could be an addiction to the material needs as well. So there could be a lot of materialistic types of energy around you as well. So please be aware of that. But for some of you out there, if you are deciding to do a new health regime, you are going in for an elective procedure. You are, I just heard some of you might go in for a tummy tuck. So whatever's going on here, please make sure that once you decide to do this, if you can't pay for it outright, then you are going to be making payments on this and just make sure that your budget can support this. Okay. So what do we have going on for your ally card? Oh, prosperity. Beautiful. So what I am sensing is coming out here is that there's actually someone around you that has become very prosperous and it seems as though they've become prosperous overnight. They are telling you, I am leaving. You sensed that this was going to come about. You're trying to figure out where it is they're going because they're not telling you anything. They just say that they're leaving. And the reason they're leaving is because they have felt trapped where they're at. 
This could be uh, in a, a, a love relationship. This could be in a work relationship. But all of a the sudden, they've got a lot of prosperity coming to them and they're coming to you and saying, I'm out of here, okay? To the alternative, this could be you saying the Sagittarius, but I am just sensing it's somebody else around you. So celebrate them and their prosperity. Um, that is the right thing to do. And if you or someone else, if you have been trying to trap somebody in a situation that they don't want to be in, or somebody's been trying to trap you in a situation you don't want to be in, that's not good for anyone. You have to let people really be themselves. But your focus needs to be on your money, focus on your work, make sure you're getting your work done, make sure you're getting your duties done, make sure you're getting your daily duties done, make sure you're doing your daily errands, and prosperity will flow to you because you're getting things done, you're keeping that energy moving, and then the universe will just fall into place with bringing you more, all right? Okay, guys, um, also you might have a Capricorn or Taurus person now as part of this overall story. So a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus or an Aries. So please be aware of that. You've got a lot of different energies around you. All right. Some of you, I just heard you might be getting um, accepted for a grant or a loan. All right. Okay, guys, I hope that you like this reading. I hope it helped you out in some way. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.